it was just something beyond what I expected. I think the biggest thing I remember is just like how much like I was learning in such a short amount of time. The focus that he that he comes with is mind blowing because it's such a contrast, but it makes sense. You know, like. It, he has this really playful side, but then he has this focused side, and it's like focused energy. outside of this school so it's like just to be there with him and to be in a studio period was just like fabulous oh it was great and so <laughs> he's standing next to me with headphones on i'm in front of the microphone and he's like yelling at me he's like yeah give me more he was like yeah i just want you to go crazy and all this stuff and i'm just like feeling it like i was still in the track i was feeling his energy like i really feel like if he wasn't there i would have been just like hmm this would have been dry but he just made it just much better. We were all in the recording studio, all of the strings, and we were all, you know, very kind of shy, kind of dull with our instruments while playing, and he told us to be, like, you know, live, to be fun, to move around, and it helped us become better musicians while playing in the recording studio. He brought out the best in us, and it was very fun because we were all so happy. It was great. mesh of feelings because you went in there and you knew it was a recording so you knew it had to be perfect so that was just terrifying in itself. Hey! wrote me a recommendation to uh, University of Southern California for a popular music program that takes 25 students out of everyone who applies and I did end up getting into this program and he was very helpful and I was so thankful for this connection that I made with him. The reason that we're doing this incredible project is we're out to raise a minimum of $2 million so that we can continue to provide these exceptional experiences for these kids. It's given me opportunities that no other school would ever give me. Starting my freshman year, I played at the Kennedy Center for my first time. And then my junior year was packed with just, I played with Lettucey, Silver Logan Sharp, um, Yazra, and then we got to open for Sting and perform with Sting and Paul Simon. And I was actually able to open the show by myself with a solo guitar. And that was really, that was a really cool experience for me. A few years ago, me and my partner, Sean Murray, brought uh, Stevie Wonder to do a uh, benefit concert for the school, which raised a million dollars. And that started a whirlwind of activity where other celebrities wanted to join in and help. At this school, these kids come from the roughest neighborhoods. Um, there's poverty and homelessness and single parent homes and this school gives them a place to be a family and to have a family and to experience a real family. Duke is not, we don't discriminate. When I attended, it was, I felt more comfortable coming out as homosexual and I feel more comfortable being around people and it's just not like, like it's something I should be ashamed of. And I shouldn't be ashamed of my skin color or my level of intelligence or my capability as a musician. It's just, we're all, we understand each other. When I was a sophomore, my parents' divorce hit me really strong. Um, I got really depressed and I didn't know 
I lost my love for music. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm sad. My home life is terrible. I don't really know what to do. I remember I was crying in the hallway one day and my jazz teacher, Mr. Yarbrough, found me and he brought me in his room and he just let me sit there and cry. He was like, this is fine. Just, just cry, let it all out. And he really helped me get through my sophomore year. That was one of the hardest years I've been through. I had to move out of my house. I had to like pack up my house in garbage bags and move to my neighbors. I was like sleeping on the floor with my mom and my brother. And so I went through a lot and just knowing that Mr. Yarbrough has my back and tech teachers and the love and family connection that I found, I don't think I would have been able to find anywhere else. And it definitely got me through my sophomore year. Through all this adversity, this school has an incredible academic record. You know, these kids, they have the highest graduation rate in the Washington, D.C. area. They get accepted to uh, various colleges all over the world. They get scholarships to these colleges and they become successful human beings. So please help us continue the legacy of education and performing arts for these talented Duke Ellington students.